Traveling with incontinence issues and diapering needs is challenging enough without having to worry about airport security. When you need to wear diapers or use any other kinds of incontinence aids, it can be easy to overthink it. It doesn't have to be that difficult though. Wearing a diaper through security will be a breeze if you follow these three simple rules. First one is the most important one and that is to always go through with a dry diaper on. This is just in case you have to go through one of those types of body scanners. Sometimes a wet diaper can set off those scanners to indicate there's a threat there when there really is no threat there. Whenever I need to fly, I usually just change into a fresh diaper before leaving for the airport. Usually there's not enough time between the time that I leave and have to go through security for it to be wet enough to cause any issues. If you are particularly concerned or paranoid about it, I would recommend just changing before you head over to the security area of the airport. The reason for this is that wetness will reflect the x-rays a little bit differently than a dry diaper will, giving some indication that there may be a threat there when there really isn't. This can potentially lead to an embarrassing pat down, and I hear sometimes even a strip search. Thankfully, I personally have never had that experience yet, but I don't really fly very often. And when I do, I follow these three simple rules to ensure that I don't have any issues. The second rule to follow is to only bring in your carry-on what you absolutely need. To avoid having your carry-on bag search, know what you can and can't bring. First thing to be aware of is that diapers and wipes are totally fine. That won't raise any red flags or cause your bag to be searched. The main thing you need to be aware of is any oils, ointments, and creams that might be in your diapering supplies that could cause it to get flagged. These all need to be in 3.4 ounce bottles or smaller, or if they are larger, they need to be put in your checked bags. If you happen to be bringing any powder with you in your diapering supplies that are in a 12 ounce bottle or larger, you can bring those in your carry-on, but they do need to be taken out of the bag and scanned in a separate bin. And again, it's better to put any larger bottles of baby powder in your checked bag. I did have the experience of having my bag searched once because I forgot I had a bottle of water in it. And so as I came through the security checkpoint, they had to stop me and go through the entire bag, which was a little bit embarrassing at the time, but the agent was very respectful about it. She didn't comment on anything she saw in the bag. She just did what she needed to do and sent me on my way. The main thing to keep in mind here is that these guys are professionals looking for threats and they see all sorts of things like this all day long so it's best just to do what needs to be done to keep moving along on your journey which brings me to rule number three and that's to focus on what you have control over. In the first two steps, we're really trying to focus our attention on the things that we actually have control over that will help ensure a quick and convenient passage through security checkpoints. Don't get caught up so much on this one little aspect of your journey. Control what it is that you can and keep going. When you think about it, what's true of security checkpoints is true of living with incontinence and other diapering needs in general. Rule three is just a good philosophy of life. Now, listen here, this is one of the most important things that you do have control over hitting that subscribe button. One other thing to note that might help put your mind at ease is that in 2013, they removed all machines from US airports that use backscatter technology, which was the kind of machines that were far more revealing of some of the more private, intimate details of our bodies. It's my understanding that these days, there's machines and programs used that utilize a different type of technology, allowing them to deploy programs that help protect a passenger's privacy. In these cases, security agents will see a green screen when the passenger is safe to fly, and when a threat is detected, they show a genderless cookie cutter image of a human body, indicating an area where to search where there might be a potential threat. The other thing to keep in mind as well is if you really don't wanna go through any type of body scanner, you can opt for a pat down search instead. And if they need to take you off into a side room or a private room for that, you can request that that is done as well. All this is to say, whether you're traveling for pleasure or for business, wearing a diaper through airport security is just as easy as wearing a diaper to work or school. You can check out that video right here next. Until next time, stay dry.